start with today's visitors, Eastley all in orange. Very nice of them, certainly not going to miss them this evening. Your starting lineup then for the Spitfires. Number one is Joe at McDonald. Three is Ryan at Clampin. Four is Nigel at Agana. Six is Ludwig Franciletti. Eight is Jake Taylor. He's your captain this evening as well. Number nine, who else? It's Paul McCallum, the league's top goal scorer. Watch out for him. Number 11 is Enzo, Enzio Baldwin. 14 is Lee Hodgson. 15, Luke Kroll. 17, Chris McGuire. 21, Oscar Rutherford. Substitute for Easley this evening. Number five is Aaron Martin. 10 is Aidan Barlow. 13, Thomas Scott. 16 is Solomon Nekaboki. And 29 is Malachi Doss. For the home side, Bora and Wood all in white, as you can see, starting in gold. It can only be the ever present. Number one, Nathan Ashmore. Three is Benny Ellis Sanders. Four is Jack Payne. He's your captain this evening. Five is Chris Bush. Number nine is Lee in love. 10 is Tyrone Marsh, 19 Arika Souza, 21 Crazy Apaya, 22 is Billy Sass Davis, 24 Matt Robinson, and 26 Josh Staunton. Your substitutes this evening for Boreham Wood. Number two is Cameron Cox, 14 Angelo Balanta, 15 David Agbon to Homer, 23 Charles Clayton, and 25 Jamari Clark. Your referee this evening is Sam Mulhall, assisted by Kieran Fiddler and Lorentu Hanty. down there by McCallum and now easily trying to break through and it is uh, Chris McGuire with the strike early on comfortably for Nathan Ashmore there in the goal his name of course in the National League team of the season last season pleasure seeing him off a lot of ball wood this season here's in love Rika Sousa's in acres of space over on the right hand side now the ball comes his way tricky winger Rico Sousa to dart into the box, it's a lovely ball in, straight onto the head, into the hands of the keeper though, McDonald deals with it. All the noise so far coming from the Eastley fans up to our right. Well, Richard Hill, the Eastley manager, actually in his third spell at the club, former midfielder himself, the likes of Northampton Town and Oxford United. He actually scored 52 goals in 104 league appearances for Northampton. Pretty impressive on the Conference South as Eastley manager in 2013-14 season. The ball comes into the area and it's down as well. There's in love. It's somehow cleared away from the goal line and goes out. And it's a goal kick. Quick break of play there for Boreham Wood. And now Eastley are trying to do the same as well. Baldwin has space, but it's a poor, poor shot come cross or whatever it was. I'm not quite so sure. I'm not even so sure he knows. Paul McCallum had sprinted into the box. Uh, but Baldwin, unfortunately, puts that one well wide and Boren would survive. Wide decides to go the short route to crawl. Here's Clamping. Whips the ball in. It's headed away by Staunton. She outs a handball from Boreham Wood. Referee's not having any of it. Maguire puts the ball back in. And it's Taylor. And it's Jake Taylor with it. Right place, right time. Put his foot out. Takes it past Ashmore. And it's Boreham Wood nil. Easily won. Well, the captain, Jake Taylor. The difference so far. The ball just came in. Beautiful. It was almost in slow motion, wasn't it? He just put his foot out. Nothing Nathan Ashmore could do into the empty net. And the visitors lead. Corner for the wood. Billy Sass Davies is coming into the box. Chris Bush is in there as well. It's Marsh! Ooh. Well, we know how dangerous Tyrone Marsh can be. It does look like Lee. Lee Hodson is uh, very tentatively just, it is Lee Hodson who went down. He is just, he is now a uh, resumed position, but still walking a little bit tentatively. Here's Jake Taylor, finds Baldwin. He's got Clamping overlapping on this left-hand side, and Clamping drives in a wicket. It was Staunton who got the ball away, but here's Baldwin on his left. And oh, my word, sorry, on his, uh, on his right. A beautiful strike by Baldwin, and it's 2-0. Well, that'll please the Eastley fans off to our right. Quick break of play, link it up well with Clamping, who just darted into the box. A beautiful ball back to Baldwin on his right foot. No chance for Ashmore, and it's 2 0. McDonald. 
And referee Sam Mulhall does blow the half-time whistle here while Jake Taylor and Baldwin with the strikes for Eastley. Work to do for Luke Gerrard and his charges at half-time. wonder what he's going to say to his men. They're not out of this one, but there's an awful lot of work to do in the second half. It's Benny Illisandi going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Rutherford, but it's Rutherford who almost came away with it, cut out by Enrico Souza. And Souza now darting into the box, finds a bit of space, Souza! Well, we know he can do that, we've seen it so many times, and it's an absolute peach of a goal from Mariko Souza, and suddenly Borough went straight back into this. 47 minutes played, two minutes on the restart, and if Borough would won, easily two, and it's Mariko Souza. And he's going to attack this with Agbon Zahoma. In comes the ball now. It's headed away, but there is Cox. Can a pie keep it? He can. Goes back to Tyrone Marsh. Here's Robinson. Oh, he takes a deflection! Oh, it's a wicked deflection! The strike from Matt Robinson. I think it might have come off Rutherford. Completely wrong footed Joe McDonald in the Eastley goal. And it's 2-2. Two, two. What a start to this second half. We've only had eight minutes of it. And from 2-0 down, four and wood a level. Chris Maguire. Can he get himself into double figures this season from the goal scoring charts? He has a go. And Ashmore manages to hold on to it. So it's Ashmore who's going to take the free kick here. To, and now electric Mangata Pay UK Stadium, Meadow Park. Under the floodlights here. Ball with two, easily two. In comes the ball, it's high, it's a pyre. Marsh held back, penalty. He had his shirt tucked there, then he in the box as he went for the spectacular overhead. Pulled down, no hesitation from the referee. And Boren would have a penalty and could take the lead. 12 minutes ago, this second half kicked off and Boren would were 2-0 down. Now they've got a penalty to go 3-2 in front and it's going to be Tyrone Marsh to take it. Well, have you ever seen such a dramatic space of 12 minutes? It's remarkable. Tyrone Marsh against Joe McDonnell to hand Boren Wood the lead or keep Eastley level. What's it going to be? Answers on a postcard, referee blows. Tyrone Marsh, saved! It's saved! Just about kept off the line as well. I'm not even so sure McDonald knew what, what had happened to it. He lost his orientation completely, but fortunately he's easily defence raced out. And Marsh was there quick, but the angle was too tight. It is far though. There's Cameron Cox who picks up the loose ball and decides to put the gas pedal on and off he goes. Look at Cameron Cox, absolutely streaming forward. Here's a pyre, Robinson. Back to Payne, as well as Sammy and Acres of space on the left, who he finds. Oh, it's a poor ball in though, comfortably headed away by an easily head. Loose ball though, Robinson trying to charge through and find Tyrone Marsh, but it was a bit of a, a bit too much on it. Warren Wood can come again, here's Enrico Souza over the top for Quezzi Apai, knocks it down for Robinson! Oh, that one counts for him! Matt Robinson does it, completes the comeback, and it's Boren with three, easily two. Well, no arguments about who that one is. Technically second time on the score sheet, but the equaliser took a wicked deflection. That one, no denying it. Matt Robinson for Boren Wood. Mastermind, 20 minutes of this game to go to keep the side in this one. Aaron Martin's come on as well for uh, his last the stats of the but number five Aaron Martin is also on as well. Martin moves right into the heart of the defence, and here is Paul McCallum! Who else? Who else for Paul McCallum? He does what he does. I said it wasn't over, and it isn't. It's Boren with three, Eastley three. And McCallum with his 23rd league goal of the season. Back into the middle. Lovely link-up play. 
Oglin's in space on the right, finds him. Tries to find the head of Paul McCallum. Here's Maguire. Probing forward again now, Eastley. James on a knife edge. It's a shot. Ashmore palms it away. And here is Paul McCallum. Twisting the dart in against Agbon Tahoma. Not quite enough on it for Paul McCallum this time as Nathan Ashmore gets down and takes the save quite comfortably too. There'll be a few uh, nervous people in the home support now. Maguire going to take the free kick. Jason Maguire, 34 year old forward. Former Scottish international. Capped twice by Scotland, Chris Maguire. Balls forward, it's loose as well. Dots is there, and it's Shawley's at the winner. Malachi Dotser somehow manages to shuffle the ball home, and it's ball with three, easily four. And if the Spitfires from three, two down, how have they clinched it right at the death? Well, well, well. There just had to be a twist in the tail, didn't there, right at the end of this game. Nathan Ashmore will not hang around and doesn't. This is surely now last chance to Luna. Neither lucky ricochet, they don't get it. Agbon to home, just flicks it forward. Angelo Valanta. And now Tyrone Marsh. Is he through? Tyrone Marsh. Was he taken down? Penalty. Oh my word, you just can't make this up. This is absolutely electrifying. For the second time in the game, Boreham would have a penalty, but surely this is going to be the last kick of the game. Oh my word. Well, Marsh, probably not too many arguments with that. He did look like he was taken down. Souza can be the absolute hero here. McDonald's already saved one penalty this evening. Can he do it again? If he does, Eastley will take all three points home. If he doesn't, they'll at least have a point. Erika Souza to make it 4-4 with the last kick of the game. This is drama you just can't script. Arika Souza scores! Oh my word, this second half has been one of the greatest second halves of football you're going to likely to see for a long time. Arika Souza levels it with the last kick of the game from the penalty spot. A brace from Souza, a brace from Robinson. It's twisted, it's turned, and it's been full of excitement, it's been full of drama. You've never known where to look. You just can't take your eyes off it. Well, there goes the full-time whistle. And, uh, I need it so I can catch a breath. It's been one of the most entertaining second halves you're ever going to see. It was 2-0 to Eastley at a break. Four goals in the second half from Boreham Wood, a further two from Eastley. A last gas penalty to equalise things and level it up for Boreham Wood. It means both teams share the spoils. And it's a point that's probably deserved for both sides as well. It has been one of the best National League games I've seen for a long time. Certainly that second half. It has been an absolute thriller. I've been your commentator, Ian Waterhouse. Thank you so, so much for tuning in for this one. What did you make of that last 45 minutes? Oh, my word. Here at the Mangata Pay UK Stadium, Meadow Park, it has finished. And I can't believe I'm saying this. It's finished Borenwood 4, Eastleigh 4.